Hi everybody. I wasn't planning on making a video today uh, until somebody just messaged me maybe five minutes ago on uh, on Facebook with a uh, with a question and the question was a good one and sparked some memory sparked some memory. I'm like, let me make this video right now. So this is the message. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Uh, I can't thank you enough for your videos. I think in one of your videos you mentioned something about your narc parents stalking you online. How do you put out YouTube videos without fear of them suing or threatening to sue you for slander? Just asking because my narc father threatened to sue me for quotes on narcissistic parents I pinned on Pinterest. He never followed through though. He's all hot air. Keep in mind, I never mentioned his name in any of these pins of pinned photos of him. He said he's an abusive piece of shit. Okay, so the th how do I how do I do this without about getting sued for slander or threats of slander? Simple simple answer. In order to be sued for slander, in order for something to be slander, it has to be untrue. Everything I've said is true. Now, how do I prevent being uh, the threat of being sued for slander? Anybody can threaten to sue you, whether they can or not, whether they can or not is, an, is is a different story, completely. In order for you to be sued for slander, a the person has to be able to prove what you're saying is a lie. You know it's a lie, and you're doing it in order to hurt this person. If that person can't prove that, it's not slander. It's he said, she said. That's all it is. He said, she said. And it doesn't matter if it's more than one person, if you have the same story. It's all he said, she said, without proof. Secondly, in order to sue, you have, there has to be damages to sue for. So the person has to show... By you saying this online, it costs them money because of what, what, what's, what's the damages? Now, they can sue for pain and suffering, but only if that pain and suffering is a result of a lie, which they then again have to prove. And good luck getting a lawyer to file that type of case because it's never going to happen. They beat their chest, they're hot air. I'll sue you for this, I'll sue you for that. I'll... Narcissists always make grandiose, grandiose proclamations how they're going to use the law and and to come to and, and we buy it because we've been abused by them. But if you understand the law and you understand what the reality is and who they are, they're full of it. They're full of hot air. And, you know, when I was asked this, I was again reminded of my father and his love of threatening to sue people and actually suing people. And I've mentioned that before, that my father and mother, and really my father on this one, were always in conflict with somebody. With somebody. Whether it be my father couldn't get along with anybody at the Little League, or my mother couldn't get along with anybody she met ever or my father getting into contractual disputes with people he tried to do personal business with and I'm gonna give you two examples of two people my father sued and it screwed him both times but he didn't care because it was all about you know that fight that battle that being in a courtroom and the first one was a guy who owned a house next to their shore house who was trying to sell it and my parents and him had an agreement to to buy the house and my parents were gonna buy that house and have two pieces of property side by side the guy was going through a divorce something happened where there was a difference of $5,000. And the guy's like, look, 
either I can tack it on to the to the price of the house, or I'm gonna have to walk away from walk away from the deal. And my father, they already had the contract. And the guy's like, be re my father's like, no, no, this is the price of the house. Just I got I got a signed contract. And you know, you're talking about a house here. You know, you're not talking about a car where you're paying 20 grand and now it's 25. You were talking about they were buying this house, I think, for about 180,000 and it would have been 185. So, and they were already buying the house on equity. It wasn't about the money at that point. And my father's like, no, I'm going to hold you to this cut. And the guy's like, why? Listen, I'm going through this divorce. And my father wouldn't hear. And the guy's like, well, I'm walking away from you. You're going to get nothing. My father's like, I'm going to get everything because, because I'm going to sue you now because I have a contract. So the guy walked over, pulled out of the deal over five thousand. Couldn't find another buyer. My father wouldn't let 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 the house be sold again because he had the contract. So the house couldn't be sold. The guy, my, the guy ended up losing everything. Father took him to small claims, took him to court over the contract. By that point, he went bankrupt. So my father then became the guy's. Basically, the guy's bank. The guy couldn't open any credit after after losing everything. Everything had to go through my father. So, because my father was technically a lien holder on this guy over this over this five grand with with, with his bankruptcy, and to this day, my father hoards that over this poor guy's head. Like any time, you know, he went through bankruptcy, but my for some reason, my father's got it where he's still a lien holder on this thing, and he controls this guy. And he's like, oh, I don't care. And like that, and I said to him, I'm like, you know, dad, over five grand, okay? And then the house, when then the housing market exploded, that house at one point was well over three quarters of a million at that point. So he lost out on the house, he lost out all the money he could have made on that house over a stupid five grand because he had a contract. And he took more pleasure out of hoarding control over this poor guy who now gets, who my father gets, if this guy sends out a credit application, it goes to my father. And my father has to approve it. My father doesn't approve any of it. Just to be a dick. And because deep down he knows he was wrong over the five grand. But again, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to prove my way. Time number two. Again, over the beach, another one over the beach house. My parents <clears throat> wanted to have the house raised up on stilts because it was on the water. And they were obsessed with this front deck that they built off the front of the house because what they'll do is they'll sit out on the front deck like, like the mayor of the block, like mayors of the block, and harass everybody who, who walks down the block to go look at the bay. Because that's the only way you can get anybody to talk to them, is you gotta they gotta become a physical barrier. And, you know, you don't get to use the bay without passing through the Lauren Bryant toll of crazy and annoyance. So they got this, they were getting all these, these, these um, prices from all these contracts. And my father knows contracting, he knew it all anyway. And like they had this set price and they didn't want to pay more than 40 grand for the renovations. Okay, for some reason, cause that was because of my mother. My mother gets a set price on her head, and then my father can only spend up to forty grand. So, all the prices they were getting from the other contractors on the island were 75, 75 to ninety grand, eighty. To because anytime you do a contracting project, you always got to have leave on the back end for 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 overrun, and that's normal. That's normal. So then he gets this one guy come in, another guy on the island, and you know, this guy you could tell. And at this point, I was already an investigator, and I already had interrogate. And I'm like, this guy is shady. And I said to my father, I'm like, this guy's something's he's lying to you, because he comes in with a price. Because my mother let it slip. I'm not spending more than forty grand. He came out. I could do it for forty grand. I like that. Does that make any sense? That but no, because my mother was such a hoarder with the money and a stickler with the money, and my father always wanted to spend it, he'd find anybody who could do the job. And 
So long, so long story short, he can't do the job. There's a problem with the deck off the front because they can't raise the house with the deck. He said he could. My father looked on. So my father's like, well, I have another contract. I'm going to sue you. And I had told this guy when he was leaving the house before, I'm like, listen, if you can't do what you say you're going you're gonna to do, this is not the guy to do it with because he will drag you into court. No, 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 no. And I'm like, dude, I'm telling you here. If you, I'm, and I'm like, dad, this guy can't do what he says he's going to do. I'm telling you, he can't. And, and what it was, was he was lying about the coding on the deck, and he knew he couldn't do it, and then it was going to be more money. But then he agreed. He's like, I'll raise I just can't leave the deck on the front, front of the house because of the coding. No, no, no. They ended up suing him. They found it because they hired him as an architect and a planner, and he had let his planning license slip, so they thought they had him on this technicality. They tried to give him his original money back. My father's like, no, I can sue him in triplicate, in fraud. Because my father's doing all this legal work, you know, off the hip. My father, if it's not an encyclopedia in the house, the, the Britannic is in the house, you know, he don't go to a library or anything. That's his, that's his reference. And back then he was pulling lawyers at a phone. He found this lawyer in a phone book. That's how my father would find everything, in a phone book. Lawyers like, yeah, yeah, we could sue him, absolutely, absolutely. They go through the trial, they go through it all. You know, and the guy, the, the architect was a lying piece of shit. But the way laws are set up, they're set up like you can't, turned out my father couldn't even sue him what he was trying to sue for. And what ended up happening is the entire case got thrown out and my father ended up getting, paying his lawyer and ended up getting nothing. Nothing. But for those two years, he was so that's all his life was about, was these lawsuits, was these lawsuits, was these lawsuits, was these threats and these huffing and the puffing. And, you know, and he hoards control over this other guy he sued for all this time. You know, if a narcissist could sue, they would. But if, if you're afraid to make a, a video or get your story out because you're afraid... The narcissist is going to sue you. Well, hey, they always threaten to sue. I'll take you for everything. I'll buy. My father always used to love to tell people he'll buy and sell. I can buy and sell you. I can buy and sell you. It's all a part of the act. You got to remember, somebody has to take the case and file it. What are they going to say? You really think there's going to be a courtroom? You know, this isn't law and order where you're going to be fighting, where you're going to rehash out. What happened at my fucking dining, uh, at my dining room table with my grandparents titty touching each other? You think that's an over? Come on. Anybody who's ever dealt with a court system knows that that doesn't happen. It only happens on TV. So don't be afraid to get your story out as long as it's true. As long as you're not lying, there's nothing they can do to you. So I want to get this video made pretty quickly because. You know, I, I found it funny. And I've heard that before. Well, aren't you afraid to be sued? sued? Sued for what? Sued for the truth? As long as you stick with the truth, the truth will, will set you free. And that's been my whole point of this channel, is to talk about what happened and talk about it honestly. And the more you talk about it, I get questions like this, and it sparks my memories again of, wow, look at this part of, the narcissistic personality of what was going on and the lengths they'll go to. So, father's already sued a couple people, so I'm sure if he could have, I'm sure he's tried. But, no, it's not the way the legal system works. And I have the truth on my side. As do all of you. So don't be afraid. You know, start talking into your video camera and without posting it. Get it going. That's what I did. It took me a year. All right, everybody. So thank you to that uh, that poster for the question. Thank you for the inspiration. This is uh, Ollie Matthews. Uh, sub subscribe if you haven't. Feel free to share any of my videos on my channel. Um, you can request me on Facebook or Skype and chat. If you have a question, let it fly. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.